Hi guys, myself Kiran Kaye and I am working as a penetration engineer at Network Systems Social and uh, I have an experience of 3 years in the field of Linux and networking. Well, my name is Akhil Vijaykar, I am a developer and I have an experience of 5 years. So what we are going to do is that we are going to hack into an Arduino device. So before doing that, we make an alarm system that is powered by a Bluetooth device. So the alarm works in such a way that if you pass a signal to that uh, alarm device, it will automatically trigger. That can be used in any industrial application anyway. So what Kiran is going to do is that he is going to hack into that alarm system. You know that in order to get into a Bluetooth connection, you need to know the authentication. Yeah. But the authentication can be done only if the user only knows or the developer actually knows. But what he is going to do is he is going to access that authentication file and he is going to crack into the hardware device. Okay, as we already uh, explained about the steps involved in this demo, and I am going to split these steps into two sections. See, you can see the first two steps set up an alarm circuit and download the code. This can't be done with a hacker. It should be designed by an electronics engineer or a developer. So, these two sections will be handled by Avisa, and the rest of four sections are handled by me and myself. See, I will check the vulnerability and hack the device and inject the code into the microcontroller, and I will raise the alarm without the help of I'll explain the subject, okay? So, here I'm using an Arduino Uno board. This is a Bluetooth module, SE05 mainly, and this is the alarm. This is actually a buzzer, and it will actually make sure. This is the LED indicator that indicates whether it is hacked or not. We have set up the hardware, now it's time to do the code. So, I already wrote the code as you see. Uh, as the code explains, I just uh, given the LED to pin number 13 and uh, buzzer to pin number 12. And uh, I just uh, put that this machine system is vulnerable for hacking and not to know that uh, the, this uh, hardware is acceptable or not. So next thing that if, if it got hacked, then uh, I just put a signal that if uh, if a data is transmitted, that buzzer should go off. That, that's how it's made. So in order to trigger the alarm, Kiran will try his best. Now I'm going to uh, compile the code. And it is, and it is, and it is, and it is, and it is showing. It's preparing the board, verifying. <coughs> and it's done. So let's hack into this device. Okay, <coughs> it was time for hacking. Uh, I'm going to plan is uh, what I'm going to plan is I need to hack that Bluetooth module. Using that Bluetooth module, I'm giving a serial input into that audio code and uh, giving the flag. So first of all, I need to hack that Bluetooth module and I'll show you how to hack that Bluetooth device. I'm using a tool called uh, uh, Blue Snarfer and HCA tool, but also the SDB tool to hack that device. Okay, before I'm starting attack, I will explain what is am I going to do about it. <coughs> it's a simple theory. While we are communicating two devices in a network with uh, one another using protocol TCP, they will exchange a file called a cap file. In that cap file, we can find the key. I mean, uh, if it is in the case of Wi-Fi, we can crack the password from that cap file. Okay, in this case, our tool, the so-called the tool named Blue Snarf uh, HCA tool, these tools will decrypt the cap file and will find the key and will pair or connect with the device. So while we are connecting, we are opening a, po a port in our device. Uh, the port, the name will be RFCOM0. Using that port, we are communicating with that Bluetooth device. We can send a serial data to that port. It will reflect on the Bluetooth module. And from that Bluetooth module, it will enter into the microcontroller and we can alarm it. This is the process that I'm going to do here. So watch carefully. See, uh, here we are uh, 
got the information in the cap file before getting this uh, file i have done some communication with that bluetooth device using the command l to ping see actually ping command we already know uh, which is used to check the two devices which is communicated or not or which is connected or not using this l to ping command we can com uh, communication uh, with two devices using the mac address here i am giving the mac address that i have got from the scan and checking whether it is uh, communicate uh, it is communicating or not and uh, i have got the result that five packets i have sent to that device and five all all of them are received zero percentage loss so we have get that cap file and i have browsed for that cap file using the tool as tool and i got these information and i have one more thing i have the communication is through the port or channel one so I am using the channel 1 to communicating with that so called bluetooth device ok as you can see we have available with the two devices and skip the first one and we are targeting to the second one that is HC05 that you can see over there ok so now we are going to hack that bluetooth Bluetooth device okay <laughs> we have got that interface uh, and uh, you have seen uh, it's showing this machine alarm such means one hour for hacking and uh, I am going to input a code into that uh, so called audio by this bluetooth module let's check it out whether it is work or not yeah let's see okay now we are going to <coughs> enter the code here echo one slash a slash rf com zero and uh, as you can see that alarm is running over there so it's being hacked right yeah so actually what we have done is i just I, I, uh, give an input one to the port serial port and it will pass from this port to the uh, bluetooth device